Stampers, Deb Velder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do envelope liners. This is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card that I did for Mojo Monday Sketch Challenge, and I decided I wanted a matching envelope to go with it because we don't make square envelopes anymore. So I'm going to show you how to do the liner along with the envelope. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, my card was four and a quarter by four and a quarter, so the closest measurement that I have is the four and a half by four and a half, which is right here. I slid over and I needed to start with an, a piece of paper that's seven and a half by seven and a half, and my first score is going to be on three and a quarter. So I took my seven and a half by seven and a half inch paper, I went over to uh, three and three quarters, punch, and score. Let's turn that. We are going to punch and score. I'm going to turn that. I'm going to punch and score. Punch and score. And that is our envelope. Now all you have to do is take and glue it together. I like to use my silicone mat for this so that none of the glue gets onto the, the uh, cardstock or my mat. And all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my adhesive here, and you'll see that it's not um, making my work area messy because I'm using my silicone mat. And I like to have it glue to glue so it, it um, sticks really well. So I'm just going to lay that down, fold that over, fold that over, and that's how simple our envelope is. Okay. Now we would like to make a liner. Now you don't have to, but you can round your corners. And I'm going to show you a couple of different samples. This one I will round, and you do that with the punch at the opposite side. Okay. So right up here, you're going to take and you're going to punch your cor your corner. And um, the next thing that we're going to do is make our liner. Now, on um, the card that we did today, it's a square card, here's a card that I had done previously and I made um, a, a liner that matched the card that um, I put in there. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. Okay, You can take and you can actually make another envelope and get two envelope liners out of this. So um, what I did was I went over to, I started with my seven and a half, I went over to my three and three quarters, I punched and I folded, and I went over and I punch whoops, and score here, and then go over to here, punch, go over to here. Punch. Okay, so we did that part of it. Now all we have to do is cut off the ends right here and then cut it in half and we have two envelope liners that will line up perfectly with this right here. So all you have to do is take and cut right down the fold here and right down the fold here and then um, cut it in half and you have two envelope liners. You can also take and measure Move that out of the way. All, you can also take and you can measure from this point to this point, and I have three and a half inches, okay? So I need to cut my designer series paper three and a half inch square. And that's what I've done right here. I've, I've done it three and a half by three and a half. Now what I'm going to do is take my envelope punch board. I'm going to round the corner because I rounded the corner on that one. Now if I didn't round the corner on the other one, I wouldn't have done it here, okay? Now this is my rounded corner. I've got to make these two pieces right here um, fancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. I'm going to line it up right here where this pointer ends on the inside and I'm just gonna punch. Now I want the same on this side over here but I need to turn it over so it's going in the same direction. So what I want to show you is when you turn it over you want to make sure your rounded corner is right here on the side which is exactly what it was here. My rounded corner is right here on the side okay so I'm gonna turn it over my rounded corner is right here on the side I'm gonna line this up with the point with the end of where the pointer is and I'm just gonna punch and then when you're done 
you have an envelope template that just ends up right inside here, like this. Okay? And you're just going to glue that in. Now let me just show you a trick, okay? What I do is I only put the adhesive up here on the top. I do not put adhesive down here at the bottom. And the reasoning for that is, is when you open and close your envelope, you don't want this piece to buckle. So what I do is I just lay it in here like this. I make sure that my little points are down and even. Okay. There we go. I glue that down and then I fold it over. Use your little bone folder. Okay. And then the next thing that you want to do, see how it doesn't it doesn't pucker because it, it, it slides in and out with the envelope? That makes a lot of sense. Um, so now what you're gonna do is um, you don't you're gonna actually add your um, your card, okay? And then after you put your card in there, you don't want to glue the entire piece down because somebody's going to take it and they're going to rip it off and they're never going to see this. So what I like to do is I like to put adhesive here and adhesive here and just um, uh, just push it down like that and then just when people get it, they just open it like this. They can open it and they'll see the beautiful um, liner on the inside. So I hope you enjoyed my post. Take care and come back soon, please. Thank you.